Years ago, I owned and uh, started a homebrew store in the 70s in um, Columbus called the Winemaker Shop, and I still own that. My wife runs it now. But anyway, in the uh, 80s, I had decided that, that I wanted to open up a brewery, and um, I was able to work out with some, a group of people to start the Columbus Brewing Company. Well, before that, uh, there were a couple home brewers that I got to know, and one of them was uh, Lenny Collada. Lenny uh, liked making home brewing. His dream was to one day own a brew pub. Well, after I started the Columbus Brewing Company, uh, Lenny would come down to visit me there, and uh, after a couple years, he said, I've got a group together, we want to open up a brew pub, and would you want to be a part of it? And so I said yes, and so then I shifted uh, my role at Columbus Brewing Company, uh, hired a friend of mine that, who had also been a previous home brewer to take over being the brewmaster at Columbus Brewing, and I phased out of there and phased into Barley's. And that would be, uh, we opened up in November of 92. We specialize here in ales. Uh, lagers occasionally will do a lager, but very rarely. 99% uh, of the beer that we produce here are ales. Our signature beers uh, over the years have pretty much stayed the same, and that is the pale ale and the Scottish ale are our two flagship beers. But there are two beers uh, right behind that is in sales. One is the Russian Imperial Stout, and the other is the IPA category. We do various types of IPAs, but people, it seems to me in the last uh, four or five years have really become uh, hop heads. Yeah, I think it's a great thing. What's, the one thing that's unique about it is that all the, or most of the uh, establishments in Athens that sell uh, draft beer and bottled beer, they, they have these beers on tap, so it's not like it's just a one day event uh, where you have to come to this tent. I mean, this is for, for a period of days. You can go to different bars and, and have beers from all over the state. So I think, number one, that's a really uh, a cool thing to be part of. And then it uh, ends up with the event on the Saturday afternoon, the outdoor event, where it's, it's uh, more of an outdoor uh, festival type atmosphere. And so it's, even for us that our beer is not in that market, it still uh, makes sense for us to be there just to uh, well, have some fun, but also to promote our, our product and, and maybe get people that don't know about our beer to come up here. I do have to say, though, that really anybody that's been around for any length of time knows that we're here, but um, it still doesn't hurt, especially in this uh, economic climate, to uh, promote your product as much as you can. It's nice to talk to the other brewers because we don't really get to see each other uh, that much, especially like the, the brewers from northern Ohio. I don't see... Uh, uh, very often, uh, I do see the, the guys in Central Ohio a lot more, 